Honey, you're awake. Uh, babe. Yeah? You're all set for your trip. Yes, I am. All right, uh, let me drop you off at the airport. No, 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 don't worry about it. I already got a ride and it's downstairs. Are you sure? Yes, babe. Babe, okay. I haven't recovered from your last trip. You went for three weeks and now you're going for a month. Babe, don't worry. I'm going to make sure I call you every day. And you won't even know I'm gone. Okay? All right. Come on, cheer up. I love you. I love you too, darling. Take care of yourself. All right, be good. I will. Ciao. She coming. <sighs> Baby. Hey, honey. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How was your trip? Awesome. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> I can't wait to get married to you. Same here. You know that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tara. Hi. You know what, why don't you go upstairs and freshen up and then we can talk more about how your trip went. I need it. Take care, baby. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs> <sighs> Jeff, I know you don't want to hear this, but I must tell you the truth. I believe you can do better than her. Look, sis. We're not having this discussion at all, please. She's not good for you. Look, sis, you promised to plan my wedding. And I let you do that. But it seems you don't like the person I'm getting married to. And if that's going to be an issue, I'll probably get another person to do that for me. No, it's okay. I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. That's my sis. You know, she's actually a very nice person. And you love her, even though you can make some chance to get to know her. I, I, see, I can promise you, you would love her. Just make out some time to know her. If you say so. Okay, you know what? Let me get upstairs. We'll talk about this later. All right. Thank you, sis. <sighs> So how are things with the decorator? Yeah, mm. she said she's going to send in the invoice, I think next week or in a few days time. Oh, that's perfect. And that concludes all the preparations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and lest I forget, we're supposed to go for our food tasting tomorrow. So it's food tasting. I won't forget that. Of course, I know you won't forget it. You <laughs> love food so much. <laughs> to my soon-to-be wife. Cheers, baby. I love you, baby. I love you, too. I can't wait to have you. Hold on, babe. My boss at work. I need to take this, okay? Oh, okay. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm fine. Hope you didn't miss me so much. Candidly. But I'm sure I'll be fine. You know, getting married to you is one thing that keeps me going. Same here. And how was the trip? Oh, no. It was a bit, but I think I could just use some rest now. All right, I'll allow you to rest, okay? I love you. Me too. Bye. That was my boss. I had some files that my boss asked me to work on, so he was calling to ask about it. So everything's fine, right? Of course, everything is fine. Oh, fantastic. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> hey, 
Where is Stella? Where's my brother? Don't you know you're supposed to call before coming to people's house? What did you just say to me? I'm sure you heard me clearly. <laughs> you know, I've never really liked you. From the very first day Jeff brought you into this house. <laughs> the feeling is mutual, girl. There is nothing, absolutely nothing likable about you. You're not even married to Jeff yet. And you are this arrogant. I can assure you, my brother will soon see you for the crook that you are and call off this wedding. Listen to me. And spare me with this Kate's sister attitude of yours. When Jeff and I eventually get married, you will not be welcomed into this house. Get that into your head. I guess we'll see about that. So this is Mr. Tony, your MC for tomorrow. So mm. I thought it would be best if you meet him in person. Mr. Tony, um, this is Jeff, my brother. Nice to meet you, Mr. Tony. I'm sure you'll make it fun for us that day. Trust me, I'm going to make it fun and memorable for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. As long as my sister hired you, I'm certain with no doubt you're the best person for the job. Um, Jeff. That reminds me, where's your wife? Uh, she should be around any minute. Uh, hello, baby? Babe? Babe? I'm What's up, baby? What? Stella? You are the one getting married. Do you two know each other? Yes. She's my fiancé. Don't tell me I am the MC at my fiancé's wedding. Wait, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> Come on, can someone speak up? If this is a joke, please, someone should just tell me. Perhaps your precious, beautiful bride has something to say. She can at least tell us who she's getting married to. The groom? Or the MC. Stella, what is going on? Are you engaged to him? Tell me the truth now. Yes, I, I am, but I was going to break it off because I'm, I'm getting married to you and not him. Just, in fact, just shut up. I don't even want to hear any bit of it again. You were going to break it up. Are you trying to say you were going to end things with me? Was that why you left your ring on purpose? See, I don't know what games you're playing right now, but I can tell you it's done. I should have listened to my sister. You warned me, but I didn't. It's okay, Jeff. You don't need to blame yourself. I just wanted you to see it for yourself. I actually brought Tony here on purpose. You know what? This is really messed up right now, and I can't be part of it. I'm sorry. You need to look for another MC for your wedding because I can't do it. Stella, all your business trips. This is what you've been doing. You know what? I'm out of here. Excuse me. Maybe you don't deserve this young man that just left. You definitely don't deserve me. I'm sure of that. I regret ever planning this with you. At this moment, just go in and get every little things of yours and leave because this marriage is over. Leave. Please. 
Baby, please. I am so sorry. Please forgive How me. How dare you even speak after what you've done? Dating two men at the same time. Come on, go in there and pack your things and leave this house. Sis, thank you for having my back. I really appreciate you. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I've got you. Anytime, any day. I'm so sorry about 